It's not provided in our bipartisan ESSA bill, including a request to manipulate the Education Innovation and Research Program to create this new $250 million private school voucher proposal. Now, you, you've made some very confusing and concerning comments about how you see the role of the federal government in protecting students, so I want to be very clear and just yes or no, my time is limited. Will you require all schools participating in this voucher program to comply with IDEA? Absolutely. And will you require all schools participating in this voucher program to comply with civil rights laws, including Title IX, that protect against discrimination based on race, religion, disability, sexual orientation, and gender identity? Yes, Senator, but let me, let me also um, clarify. There is no specific proposal under that line item. It, it is really appropriations language, and the intent of that line item is to use, to, to um, explore and experiment with. So you're going to be creating new regulations, so let me be very clear for this voucher program. Correct. It it won't necessarily be a voucher program specifically. Right. That's that is uh, really appropriations language. It's it's intended to be a choice it's program a new and two hundred fifty million dollar private school as part of program, as right. part of the um, research budget okay, that well, will will um, help us evaluate right, I, what let me, kinds let me of just opportunities are working for students. Okay, you're seeking authority for a new federal program. It is paid for by my constituents and all federal ta taxpayers. So this question can't just be left to states. Uh, the authority you are requesting says you, the secretary, will establish requirements for this new program. So should this voucher program ever come to be, despite the opposition of a lot of people uh, and lawmakers on both sides of the aisle, will you require these schools receiving these funds to follow the IDEA? Any, any institution receiving federal funding is required to file a voucher program or is required else to follow federal law. And, and, and as well, for discriminating against students, you will not allow, you will have specific rules and regulations? Let me be clear schools that receive federal funds must follow federal law, period. Even through a voucher program? Period. Okay. Um, as you know, Title IA is the core program under our federal elementary and secondary education law. It assists more than half of all of our public schools. Your budget proposes a cut of $578 million in this funding for districts that don't adopt your proposed policies. Are you aware that your budget would result in these cuts? I think, um, Senator, we have a we have a confusion here between the budget numbers that we were working with prior to the continuing resolution that was passed well, by Congress. So the intention is to fully fund Title I. But this is, this is a $578 million. It, it, it's not. This is not planned with math. We're, we're basing our numbers on the actual real world right now, the, the numbers that we passed. You're not. We and can't and this budget game. is based upon the numbers prior to You're, that implementation in late April something that was never implemented into law. This cut is $578 million less based on current law, real world. Uh, and that, you know, that's, that can't be played around with. Everyone knew that the $450 million in school improvement grant funding would be consolidated in Title I grants authorized under ESSA. It's the law of the land. Uh, and both the House and Senate bills provided that funding. Yet this budget is just choosing to ignore that fact and playing with numbers and would result in a cut to Title I school districts that don't adopt your proposed policies. And I just have one... Senator, I, let me just say that that is incorrect. Again, the budget numbers that you received were based upon the numbers prior to the action you took in April. You're, so well, we the play intention, with real world. The here, intention so. is the intention is to fully fund the Title I fund based on numbers that don't exist. So the, you know the, we can't play math with this. This is real world. Uh, let me just ask you. Just have a few seconds left. M many Republicans actually attacked President Obama's budgets for pro proposing program programs that were not authorized in federal law. Uh, but you not only cut the legs out from the bipartisan ESSA law with these massive cuts, you also propose programs similar to one that Congress already debated and rejected. And you claim that your budget is focused on offering states and schools this flexibility, but then you propose holding 
a billion dollars hostage to force states and districts to conform to your ideology. You've requested new authority in this budget for a billion dollar proposal because ESSA doesn't allow you to use the weighted st uh, student funding pilot program for prom promoting your policies. That's correct, right? Now, the billion dollars was intended to be in addition to the Title I funds that would be fully funding. Again, I refer back to what I said well, before, that we were working with numbers that Congress Congress had not acted at the okay, time Okay, well, these you and I disagree produced. on basic math here, but let me just say, it's what do you a billion dollars in addition to fully funding the Title I. Well, okay, I just have, I'm over time. What do you tell Republicans who feel very strongly that the federal government shouldn't use federal education dollars to bend uh, states and school districts to their will? That the it is a totally voluntary program on the part of states. Nobody will be coerced but into they using lose it or do it. Dollars. But nobody will. No state would be forced to utilize it or to act, enact anything as a result. Thank you, Senator Murray. Senator Cochran. Uh, 